Last Ultimate, it's a new open world free to play MMORPG that came out recently for mobile. And in today's video, I'll be telling you guys what class you guys should play, which class are good for PvE, which class are good for PvP, and what the classes do. So let's jump right into it. So we have the class list right here, and let's start with the Nether Envoy, aka the Sight, aka the Reaper. Now, the Sight class does look in my opinion the best okay having the whole site the whole outfit goes really good but how does this class uh, actually do now the class is a very strong overall class focused a lot on like aoe damage uh so overall is very strong for mass pvp in dungeons to, for sweeping mobs but overall it also has a very strong descent single target a dps so going for the site you cannot go wrong again it's a melee class so if you're used to fighting up close to the bosses and, and going toe to toe with other players it's a good class to play again it has good amount of cc nothing too uh, crazy but it excels in the aoe damage if you want to go into mass pvps and do some amazing aoe damage definitely a class to go if you're solo player definitely a class to go uh uh two especially if you like the whole site now uh it the defense again defense is kind of squishy compared to the other classes but not the squishiest so it can hold its own uh, and it can dish out a single target dps but overall very well a balanced class if you like the whole site if you like the vibe of it definitely go for the site next up we have the assassin probably the one of the fan favorites right now unfortunately it's only male and uh, no female on this class but assassin like many other games is one of the highest single target dps's in the game it does amazing amount of damage pretty wild how much damage it actually does on single target uh and again very good in 1v1 pvp but it, it is very squishy like the scythe it takes a lot of damage this whole point of assassin doing high amount of damage in short time do some burst damage uh but this class is melee but it also has some range skill so you can kind of use it as a uh, range skill too uh because it has a build I can use that so overall assassin great class to play very strong in one we once again uh but if it comes to like massive fights like mass vps it will not do that great unless you can pick off like the solo target players so uh if you want to do the highest dps during boss fights and do some really good damage uh, to other players in one v one situations definitely go for assassin and also very good solo if you're a solo player definitely a good class to play Today's video is sponsored by Huawei App Gallery. If you guys get the game through Huawei App Gallery, link in the description below. You guys will get just by getting it a 10 euro gift pack for free. This offer is not only for Huawei mobile users. Everyone can get exclusive gift pack worth 10 euros. You do not need to create a new a game account. And not only that, every purchase you guys make in the game, you guys get cash back on it as Huawei points, which you guys can again spend. And you can get up to 1,620 euros every single month. So make sure you guys check it out through Huawei App Gallery and check out their Discord. Next up, we have uh, the uh, Fighter. Again, the Frontline Tank. Now... It is supposed to be the most tankiest class, but from what I've seen and what I've heard so far about the fighter class is that it does lack some defense. It probably get better later on when it actually gears up. But right now, fighter is overall a decent class. But but if you get to the end game and you get SSR heroes and gear. Uh, this becomes one of the strongest classes so early game not that strong it struggles versus the other classes but later on in the game it becomes super strong one of the strongest classes uh, in the game it has good single target damage it has amazing aoe damage and it has good cc for pvp and high defense uh, later on in the game so if you look and it has some really cool like uh, invisibility skills and stuff so overall fighter uh, definitely a great pick so if you're used to playing like tanks high defense dps's great sword players and big hammer players definitely fighter is uh, the class to go uh, for you because overall very solid this is usually the class i would play because it has that high defense and it is the frontline tanks so you're going to be tanking the bosses up front taking all the damage for your teammates go for the fighter overall damage like the damage it does 
is decent, but it's not as high as the other classes. Next up, we have uh, the Sage. Uh, attack range, basically, this is the mage, you know, the mage, single target, caster, magic caster. So, it'll have the range, which you guys know, the range is super important uh, when it comes to MMOs generally. Especially mobile MMOs. You have the range. You can do some amazing damage. Low defense, of course, but amazing AoE damage. So for PvP, mass PvP, this is the class to go. You'll be doing so much damage. It has amazing control CC abilities. So to stun enemies, uh, it is great overall. So if you're used to playing fire mages, ice mages, elemental mages in other games, definitely go for the sage will be the class to play for you have that range be able to do that magical damage and keep up with your team when it comes to the single target damage again the single target boss damage is lower than the other classes but the aoe damage makes up for it so if there is a boss fight with like mobs and stuff it will do really good but overall single target dps you can keep up with the other classes but not as good as the others so aoe damage is where it goes a mass pp is uh, where it shines the most and it's only female so there's no male it's locked to female gender unfortunately but magical caster you guys know magical caster does amazing damage next up we have uh, the uh, gunner aka the ranger aka the gunslinger aka what i know which uh, they have many different names but basically like an archer like a gunner you have the range damage you do some amazing damage from far away using these pistols and overall even the single target dps for the gunner is one of the highest in the game the only one that can keep up with the gunner dps right now is the assassin so if you want to play a ranged dps and do really good and keep up with the damage meters when it comes to boss fights go for the gunner overall in pp also very good it has a lot of mobility can dish out really good damage not as much cc as the others but really good has some good aoe skills too so overall it's a well-rounded class it has the range it has a single target damage it has the aoe damage and it has the mobility when it comes to pvp so if you're looking for a class that is solid and fun and easy to play and you know you cannot go wrong go with the gunner in my opinion it, this will be uh, the easiest and uh, one of the most fun classes uh, to play because of the mobility overall. So my overall opinion of the classes is they're very well balanced in this game. And it all depends on your build and uh, what kind of uh, ranking uh, your espers are. So if you have high SSR espers and you can uh, build them with your class, you can do really good and dish out a lot of damage and utilize the classes the most so if you're going for the fighter you want to have high defense right uh, and try to balance it out if you go for a gunner you probably want to have high single target dps probably focus around crit around damage uh, so these are the classes so in my opinion very shortly go through it if you want to play if you're used to playing tank Tanking bosses, holding aggro, going the front lines for PvP, and being tanky and bulky, go for the fight. If you like sneaking up on players, doing some crazy single target, burst damage, and get out of the fight, and do some nice CCs, go for the assassin. If you're used to playing mage in most games, fire mage, ice mage, necromancer, and so on, go for the sage. If you're used to playing ranger, having a nice mobility, uh, gunner, gunslinger, go for the gunner. And if you want to play something cool, go for the reaper because the reaper does in my opinion uh, look the best out of all the classes but that is it for this game last ultima that's the class you guys can choose between let me know what you guys think and what class you guys pick check out this video right here and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye